Hey everyone, welcome to Small Batch Devs. My name is Austin. And I'm Elliot. Today we're going to be deploying an Angular app to Firebase Hosting. And connecting a custom domain name to it through the Google Domain Manager. So let's get started. So what is Firebase Hosting? Well, believe it or not, Firebase Hosting is a way of hosting your website on Firebase. Uh, you can use a Firebase CLI to deploy your app to Firebase's global CDN, which is their content delivery network. And on project creation, Firebase will automatically give you two free domains. So the first one will be yourprojectid.web.app, and the second one is yourprojectid.firebaseapp.com. Once this is all done, you'll be able to uh, link your purchase domain to the one of the domains that Firebase sets up using Google Domain Manager, GoDaddy, there's a bunch of other options out there, so yeah. So why would you use Firebase Hosting? Well, it's very easy to use, and it's also free up to a certain amount of storage. Yeah, and Firebase also makes your website HTTPS by default. So your website is way more secure, and you don't have to have any hassle setting that up on your own. It is also uh, served up by the closest possible global CDN. And basically, this just means that your, your end user will get the website served up as quickly as possible. Yeah, and last but not least, it comes with all the other great features of Firebase. Yes, it does. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial for Firebase hosting. We're here in our IntelliJ window in the command line. Uh, we're going to rerun Firebase init to add Firebase hosting to our Firebase app. Uh, so we need Firestore Fire and also hosting. Um, so let's select those and we can just run through the defaults here. <laughs> we already have these files made, so we're not going to overwrite them. When it comes to the where our public directory is, we're going to change it to dist slash uh, blog. And that is where Angular is going to compile um, our app to. So we'll need to point to it. Yeah, and if you're not sure where your app is going to be compiled to, you can check the Angular JSON file. And if you scroll down to the architect section and the output path, this is what you're going to want to enter for your public directory when Firebase asks you for it. So if we just keep going here, we're going to say yes to configuring it as a single page app. And that's it. The next step is to build a production version of our application. So we're going to run ng build dash dash prod. So Angular is going to optimize our code here and minify some of it as well as make it easier to download for the user. It'll be faster and it'll get packaged up into the dist folder. And then after this is done, we're going to deploy it with Firebase. And this is also a prerequisite that it's pre-compiled. So Firebase will not take just a regular Angular app. You have to compile the TypeScript down to JavaScript. So we're done. So now it's time to deploy our Firebase app. Uh, before we do that, we need to run Firebase Use just to choose which project we're deploying. Uh, so SBD EPS blog, and now we can run our Firebase deploy command. And we're going to use dash s only hosting because there is a bug with the Firebase deploy command right now. Um, and this will just bypass that and deploy our hosting. So now that that is done, uh, we should be able to give it a minute and then go to one of the hosting URLs and actually be able to see our app. So we'll do that. Okay, so after you give it a couple minutes to deploy on the server side, you can go ahead and click this hosting URL and it'll open up in your default browser. And we're just going to copy it and paste it into our Firefox. And there we go. Our blog is now served across the world on this URL. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So now that our Firebase app is deployed, we can go ahead and create a custom domain because we don't want to just use the defaults here. We want something a little more prettier and usable. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So to get started, we're going to click add custom domain in the Firebase hosting console. And here's where you're gonna enter your custom domain. Now you'll have gotten this uh, from Google Domains or uh, GoDaddy or some other domain provider. Uh, right now we're just gonna use abc.com just as an example. So once you hit continue, you're gonna get this TXT value to update in your DNS record. So you're gonna go ahead and copy this. And for us, we're using the Google Domain Manager. It's very easy to use. 
And you're gonna go over here, you're gonna pick the domain that you wanna use, go down to the DNS section, and then scroll all the way to the bottom. You're gonna to come to this custom resource records, and you're going to create a new TXT record from this dropdown, and you're gonna paste that value that Firebase gave you right in here. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and leave these two blank, and you're gonna hit add. And that's all there is to it. You'll have to wait about uh, up to 24 hours for that to go through and finalize. Uh, and then Firebase will give you two more records. These right here, these two A records. And you'll add these and then you'll be good to go. So now you should be able to set up Firebase hosting in your web application and also deploy that app to your custom domain. Yeah, we hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Thank you.